Perfect. Okay. Um, so what I want to go over um, with you guys is basically uh, two things. Uh, it's going to be our POS solution and it's going to be our terminals. Um, and with more time, uh, you know, we can definitely go into our mobile application and then our virtual terminal. Um, so give me one moment. Uh, what I have here now on the screen is our one of our POS systems, right? <clears throat> so this is our T2 Mini. This comes with an integrated 3D, uh, three inch printer, thermal paper. Uh, the screen is about almost 12 inches. It has a customer facing LED. And it also comes with a uh, credit card chip reader and um, cash drawer as a system. This is one of the bundles and is the most economical one. Um, it goes for under $700. Next, we have the um, ELO. Uh, I believe that you guys, uh, um, some of you guys already uh, saw it um, firsthand. So pretty much it's a tilt screen that tilts from the merchant to the customer back and forth uh, in case they need to sign for receipts and that sort of solution. Uh, it comes with a two inch receipt printer, an integrated cash drawer. It also comes with an EMV chip card reader and the screen is about um, 13 inches. So it, this is an all-in-one solution. Um, this is approximately less than $1,300. Um, so that's pretty much the POS solutions uh, as far as hardware is concerned. Uh, it's rather simple to look and I'll be emailing everybody uh, that put an email address on file with the uh, uh, recording today. Uh, these these documents as well, so you can have them there too. Okay, so we're gonna dive in into the actual software and the features that it has. Um, what you're looking at right now is our POS solution, which is uh, the restaurant full version of it. Okay, so this includes uh, employee management uh, in which you can give uh, uh, customizable names, um, their own pin to get in. And if you have multiple stations throughout the store, you're going to be able to pretty much uh, log into all of them with the same pin and transfer the orders from one merchant, I'm sorry, from one customer to the other without any problems. So I'm going to log in uh, using my account. And pretty much this, this is me opening up my shift as I start. Um, as a manager, I can open up other shifts for other employees if I need to by simply toggling the switch on and off and as well as, you know, uh, ending their shift as well. Uh, so starting a new order, simply clicking on new orders and I have the uh, different uh, service type. Um, if they're going to dine in with us, if this is a carry out order or if I need to open up a tab. So by dining in, I'm gonna choose a table. I'm gonna put in a name for the customer, choose table and the number of guests and just start my order. So here we have our menu and um, the different functions on the right-hand side of the screen. So on our menu, we have items such as uh, variable items like this here. Uh, this is a variable item uh, based on size. And when we select it, it brings up modifiers that we can add to the order. There are some modifiers depending on the merchant that um, when they add modifiers to the order, they charge extra. So this is all completely configurable, whether you charge or not for those modifiers. And then your modified order is on the right. Uh, we also have other features like special languages. Um, if you have special restaurants like Indian uh, or Chinese restaurants that want to use their own um, language, they can actually do that. And where's the, there's the Indian food. So we can also, from this page, add for example, if you have a favorite or a most common used item, 
you can tap it and hold it down and you can easily add it to your favorites so you don't have to go search for it. Um, another way of doing this is pretty much by entering the name. Well, let me see what we have here. Okay. So you can type in a couple of letters or if it has a barcode, you can scan the barcode and it'll pull up the item. Now this, for example, this burger is a variable price. Uh, I don't know if you notice in a lot of restaurants nowadays, when you choose avocado, one day is one price, the next day it just changes prices. So the same thing goes here. Um, you can actually keep inventory control of the price, I'm sorry, of the item with different prices. So you can select, for example, this one at $35. And I want it well done. And I can add another one for $25. And this one medium rare, or medium. So I have, you know, different items at different prices with different modifiers. Towards the end, um, I can actually walk away from, as a waiter, I could walk away from the table and place the order. Um, in our system, if you order, for example, uh, drinks, where'd it go? Okay, so if you order drinks, we have the ability to print to different printers. You can have a bar printer and you can have a kitchen printer. So when the waiter pulls the order in, the order actually gets printed completed faster by sending the food to the kitchen printer and sending the actual beverages to the bar printer. So when I update the order, basically that's already in the system and whatever items were ordered will go to their, their, their appropriate printers. So from here, I can just exit and somebody else could log in. And for example, this waiter already has different orders. I can just go into it and order more stuff and update the order. Now, as you can see here, for example, um, I can take a payment for this order. I can take a cash payment. I can key in the amount they gave me, or I can just click on the, the bills they hand me. I can also um, do a credit card transaction. So when I click on credit, um, at this time, it, the card reader would show, facing the customer would show the amount due, which is uh, 23.24. And as you can see here, you have the uh, total amount. Uh, this particular customer has a customer discount um, as a customer reward. And of course, uh, the non-cash adjustment or the cash discount um, feature. So I can just put in the credit card information. I could tap it in. And submit it. I can sign for it. And this feature here is something that we can turn on or off if they need it or not. If they do, when they sign for it, the signature is actually captured with that specific receipt and is stored on our servers for up to two years. And now we actually come to the tip adjustment. So if they needed to have the, uh, the receipt uh, of the actual tip, so the merchant, I'm sorry, or so the customer can sign for it, they can simply print it out. Or, you know, at the cash register, like in a lot of diners and stuff like that, they ask you if they want to leave a tip for it. You could put it in at that time. And if they left cash, you can also adjust it there. And everything is basically documented at the bottom. So we have $7 in tip, the total cash discount, the customer discount. And now we just close the order. So that's been done. And now this particular table is freed up. So we go back to orders and I don't longer have this order available. Um, one of the things that we can also do, um, so let's say that this particular waiter 
is going home and people are still eating. You can actually select this and you can reassign the order to a different waiter. And now you can just close your shift. Um, do we have any questions so far regarding the functions here? Okay, um, so next what I want to do is show you the actual portal. Uh, here we go. Where these merchants would log in and actually um, set up or use the, their portal as they see fit. So this is the dashboard. Uh, this is where they keep all the transactions. Okay. And you can actually go into the reports if they need to. They have uh, reports, sales reports by register, by employee, by product, by category, and of course by um, time. So by the month, by the week, by the year, all of that is there. Uh, payment reports and different register reports. You can add a customer database, uh, and this is pretty much where you have uh, your loyal customers that you can choose to give them a discount and you can actually view their history of the orders they placed. If they want to manage their products, it's rather simple. Um, they could just come in, this is their products. They would just go in here, select a product they want to modify, and they can pretty much add on more um, information to the product. If they want to add more uh, modifiers, they can choose other modifiers to add to it, additional information. So adding products and managing the products is rather simple. It's not very complicated. Um, so if we wanted to add a new product, we would pretty much select first whether this is an inventory product or a non-inventory product. Then we would select the category, give the product a name, so let's call it one burger so it differentiates and the price and that's it so now I have this burger here and all we would do is go to our POS sync it and I'm just gonna sync all and this is actually syncing live, uh, so that you can see uh, if this is how long it would actually take on the POS. So I can go now and start a new order. Let's say carry out, Steve. And there's my one burger. And again, if I want to do payment, I could actually print the tip, the tip receipt or add it, the tip from here the suggested percentages and I can pay in cash or credit and I have already the cash discount as you can see at the bottom. So we have also a way to split the order. From this, we, could, we would have to have more, more items and more people on the order. So you can actually split the order for different uh, people sitting at the table or for different products that they each want to pay. Uh, you have the customer name and promotions. You can actually print out a voucher. Uh, so the next time the actual person comes in, they can have a discount or you can actually apply it while they're there and it'll show at the bottom as well. So I'm just gonna update the order and go back out. So basically this is our restaurant POS. Uh, it's simple, it's quick, it's not complicated to use or it's not complicated to uh, upload and it's very functional uh, when it comes to uh, different styles of restaurants. So this is perfect, you know, for any type of restaurant that does not require uh, the employees to punch in and punch out. Uh, that's a function that we're still uh, 
trying to put into the POS, but every other option, table management, uh, reports, everything else is in there. There's also another uh, vertical, uh, which is the actual uh, retail. Uh, the only difference between the, the restaurant and the retail version is that of course you don't have table management. And basically, instead of coming into the order section, you would just uh, go straight into the ordering screen, which you pick up your items. That's this, if you, for example, you had screwdrivers and um, boards, nails, stuff like that, everything can be put in here with their own pictures. How do you add? Combos. Go ahead, I'm sorry. How do you add the pictures? Uh, in our portal, when you manage the actual, when you add or you manage the product, you can actually change the icons um, from standard pictures that you can take with your camera, that you can download from the internet or from uh, upload from a scanner or such a thing. And we also have different uh, standard icons and text icons that you can change too. Okay. So you can always do that there. So if I update that now, this is going to change to like a green background. There you go. Okay, thank you. Not a problem. Okay, um, so if anybody has any questions, I'm sorry, I, I do see that somebody typed in a question. Um, give me one moment. Well, okay, so Maria has a question regarding the um, the pricing, different pricing, and let me make sure that I understand this. So um, if you want to change the prices on the fly, um, and you pretty much can. I mean, you could give it a variable pricing, uh, and you can apply a discount to it as well. So it's up to you how you want to handle uh, pricing. You could give it just a standard price, so each time they select it, it'll have that price, or you don't have to give it a price, and our system will automatically detect that the item doesn't have a price, and every time you sell it, it's going to ask you to put in a price. You could also have a promotion uh, and call it uh, happy hour and apply it to that, uh, um, that order. Okay, um, so do we have any questions uh, regarding our POS so far? All right, um, so what I want to move into next is actually our um, Android terminals, right? Um, and I'm gonna show them to you first. Um, so this is our Q1 terminal. This is a ruggerized terminal. So if you have merchants that tend to drop terminals and they break, uh, this terminal is actually certified to take a fall, okay? And basically keep working, okay? Um, it's built with rugged uh, hardware equipment. So it is it is built to last, okay? Uh, you have the actual MSR swiper at the top of the terminal, and actually at the bottom of the terminal, there is a slot in which you insert the chip. It does come with a hand strap, and on the bottom of it, it has the actual receipt printer, okay? As you can see here. It also comes with a thumb scanner. Uh, it does not have any use right now, um, maybe in the future or if there's a need for it. And also a, a scanner uh, in which uh, in the future it's gonna house, um, not particularly this, this unit, but our next unit, which is the Q2, will house uh, our POS system. So it can be used as a pay at the table uh, system. And now, this is our Q2 unit, which is a pin-on-glass device. 
this has a uh, MSR swiper and a chip card reader on the side of it. The two inch receipt printer on the top. It's also contactless and it's an Android system. So these both these devices connect via Bluetooth, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Wi-Fi um, to any uh, router that they might connect to, even hotspots or even your phone and also GPRS and we have different um, data plans available through AT&T and um, T-Mobile. So all of these devices are able to do cash discount, they're able to do tip, tax, uh, they also have uh, a QuickBooks integration. So if you have merchants that do have QuickBooks, they actually do uh, integrate the payment portion into their QuickBooks accounts. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect to it and I'm gonna show you, uh, so right now what you're seeing here is my, um, my terminal, okay, this is the uh, first screen, the home screen of it, and I'm gonna log in to my STEM portal. Give me one moment. And I'm gonna show you pretty much um, when we deploy terminals, or when you deploy terminals, you basically get a profile uh, created for you. Okay, so those terminals uh, pretty much will have all your configurations that you determine um, to work for you. Okay, so different different companies have different cash uh, discount features. Um, they might apply it to credit cards, ACH, um, gift cards, and so forth. Um, so here is my STEM platform, and these are the current settings for my device. Okay, so I'm gonna log into it. And as you can see right now, to run a transaction, the only thing I need to do is pretty much click on quick sell. I have cash discount already enabled there. I'm gonna put in an amount, submit it. And for example, I have the option, as you can see here, to either insert the card, swipe the credit card, or manually put in the credit card. So I'm just gonna insert the card. Okay, and now it's asking me for a PIN. And one of the things that I wanna show you um, is the PIN security that we have. Um, so as you can see here right now, the numbers 8270 are in the upper left corner. So if I cancel this or this payment and I do it again, put in the card, when it determines that this card does need a pin transaction, now I have different numbers. So the numbers are never gonna be in the same place. So even if you have people standing behind you trying to see where you're tapping the numbers, they're gonna assume that one is at the top right-hand corner and that's not the case. So you just put in your pin, and click okay. Yes, send it. There's my card, approve, remove card. My receipt prints out. And on the receipt, you will have uh, a the actual um, line items uh, with the amount with the cash discount and the total amount. And then you have your question whether you wanna print a copy for the customer or not. And I'm gonna say yes, and there's my other printout. So from here, you have the choice if this is enabled to actually email a receipt to a merchant or not. If you want to, you just put in an email address. If not, you just hit on cancel and it jumps right back into the um, startup page. So. For example, right now, uh, as we have here, we call this cash discount. But let's say that that's not the term that you wanna use and you wanna call it uh, non-cash adjustment. Okay, so I'm gonna push this update. 
And this is something, as you can see now, a synchronization occurred. So if I go there now, I have different options. I can do credit, debit, EBT, or food stamp. I'm going to do credit. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's not turned on. Okay. There you go. Okay. So now when I go in there, credit, and now it says non-cash discount. So updating the terminal, it's very quick. It's very easy. You don't need to have the merchant do anything. This is a type of terminal that you don't need to turn off and then turn back on. So the uh, changes can be uh, put into effect. The merchant, you know, they can call you telling you that somebody made a, a mistake on the receipt. And instead of being, for example, 41, 4041B, it should have been 4140. You can just update the, their address, push the update, and now this is done. So I can show you now on here. And this is another feature. So the, the terminal is locked to your processing. So this is not a terminal that they can actually uh, discontinue using with you. Go to another ISO or another company and continue using it with them. Uh, you can actually redeploy these terminals to any of your merchants, even new merchants. You don't need to send them for injection anywhere. Um, the terminals are automatically injected over the air. Um, so this is something that you don't need to worry about. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to ship them. You don't have to waste time or pay extra fees uh, for the injection. You only pay the one injection fee when the, uh, the terminal is deployed, and that's it. Um, you can also see transactions. You can do auth, and if they're permitted, you basically will have to pretty much put in a password. If you do an EBT and you want to uh, see the balance on the card, that's something that you can do as well. And like I said, so right now this terminal is uh, available to do uh, standard payment oper operations, and uh, also in the in the near future, it's going to have the ability to be a pay at the table, and order and also order at the table for our POS. So it's going to communicate without the different POSs uh, using this particular terminal. Uh, do you guys have any questions regarding the uh, terminals now? On this one, is it going to have the scanner where they can uh, scan a barcode? So they do have a scanner. Um, they're not um, enabled right now. Uh, but if that's something that is required, we can definitely, you know, accommodate it. Okay. We can definitely build a, a case around it and accommodate it. Okay, thanks. No problem. Okay. Um, so moving forward, um, all of this is tied to our gateway. So you pretty much have access to our gateway. So any transactions made, uh, you'll be able to see them here live as they happen. And you can also, uh, for example, set up cash discount on our gateway. Uh, let me set that up for you real quick. So uh, right here, enable cash discount, percentage, 4%, and I'm gonna apply it to ACH and credit cards, okay? So when I go to that terminal and use that device, automatically I have the cash discount. So I can run a card.
and here's the receipt like I mentioned earlier in which you have the amount of the sale, the approval, all the actual credit card data information, the subtotal, and the extra line item on their cash discount, and then the grand total. And from here, you can email the receipt or print it out to whatever printer you have connected on your computer. You could also rename it, of course, uh, if that's something that you're looking to do. And just And now it's called non-cash adjustment. And this also takes on the receipt. Did you name that a non-member fee? You can rename it to whatever you want to put it in under and call it whatever you like to call it. Okay. So there's the, um, on the, re the receipt, it'll be cash discount actually. So on the portal, it'll, it'll be seen, did it change here? Yeah, it changed, it changed here. So I think that we have a bug because it's supposed to catch on the receipt. I have to report this. Okay. So, I mean, to your question, yes, you could call it non-membership, non-member um, non fee. Okay. And, you know, if that's a different... price point you could always change it uh -huh. and it'll be there Seven. so it automatically calculates and puts it under the report um, you also have reports on these transactions so it actually breaks it down to the total amount of the cash discount and the actual transaction so the merchant can see how much money they actually saved by using your system and the deposit that they actually received. How long does it take the deposits to deposit? Um, Alex, do you, do you know? That, Sorry. That's... Sorry, I had it on you. Um, it usually takes anywhere from 24 eight hours. It just depends on the platform. Okay. But because of the fact that if we put it on thesis, um, it can, I believe we can have it on the, the same day option, same day, same day funding option. And also, um, you know, with your system, they have the ability to close their own batches. So you would just point to the batch that you want to close, click on close batch. Now it's closed. If I go back here, now I see batch number two, and I can check to see what um, um, credit cards were done. So this is the total amount on two visas. And if I need more information, I have it all here, even down to the cash discount. Cool. Okay, um, so any any questions so far? So, uh, so you guys understand, um, our cash discount program works on uh, our terminals. It works on our mobile application, which is Android or iOS. It also works on uh, our POS system and, of course, our virtual terminal on, on those four um, different venues. Um, so if you have anybody that's needed um, to be put on a, a cash discount program, here you have it. Uh, if you guys have any questions regarding today's call, um, let me know. I'm gonna be sending you an email shortly with all the content that we went over. I'm gonna have my contact there. So if you guys need demos with your merchants or assistance or special questions that they might have, I'm your point of contact. Um, you're, you're gonna be able to reach me. Um, at any point in time uh, even put in my cell phone number in there in case you guys have you know an after hour questions or anything like that so this is pretty much the end of the show um, we will go from there and I hope that everybody 
has a great holiday coming up and blink twice. It'll be New Year soon. So we'll go from there. All right, perfect. Really appreciate your help. Not a problem. Not a problem. I'm here for that. All right, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.